Okay, me again regarding the fish finder sound, uh, not sound, but the fish finder sensor. Uh, I'm about to show you how to see if it will uh, pick up sound. So what I have is I have a small unit here which incorporates a, an amplifier inside there. It's a tester that I made oh, many years ago. And this is the amplifier wire. And if I touch the end of it, an open end, you hear the sound that comes out of the, uh, the amplifier. So now what I'm going to do is connect it to the sensor one wire there and the other wire without touching them together I'll just set the camera down for a few seconds that's uh, while I was twisting the wires together right there so now what you'll hear is when I tap on it You hear the sound through the amplifier. If I try something metallic, so that tells me that the receiving end or the pickup for the, the the wave, the sound wave that comes that bounces back from the bottom or the fish or whatever is working. So I don't know if the unit will work, but that's the way I found that you can summarily uh, test the unit. Another way is to use for continuity of the uh, unit. You can't, I'll unhook this, close the amplifier. You can use a capacitor, a ohm meter tester doesn't do any results it does doesn't read anything but I found that a capacitor tester if you if you put it on a certain scale will react and pick up something from it so I'll put it on I think it was on the 200 NF scale and if I go like this and like this wait a second uh, Okay, then you see I, I, had, I do get a reading. So it's another way that you could probably check for continuity. But the other two tests that I've shown before with the radio and the amplifier is a good way, I think, to uh, basically see if the, the connections are good and if uh, it's hearing and sending data. Okay, thank you for watching.